corporations are deserting America because they want lower taxes abroad. And some politicians say the only way to stop these desertions is to reduce corporate tax rates in the United States so they won't leave. Wrong. If we start trying to match lower corporate tax rates around the world, there'll be no end to it. Instead, the President and the Treasury Department should use their executive power to end the financial incentives that encourage this type of desertion. In addition, any corporation that deserts America should no longer be entitled to the advantages of being American. Number one, they shouldn't be allowed to contribute to U.S. political campaigns, or lobby Congress, or participate in U.S. government agency rulemaking proceedings. And they no longer have the right to sue foreign companies in U.S. courts for acts committed outside the United States. Number two, they shouldn't be entitled to generous government contracts. By American provisions of the law should be applied to them. Number three, their assets around the world shouldn't any longer be protected by the U.S. government. If their factories and equipment are expropriated somewhere around the world, they shouldn't expect the United States to negotiate or threaten sanctions. And if their intellectual property, patents, trademarks, trade names, copyrights, are disregarded, that's their problem too. They don't get to be represented by the U.S. government because they are no longer American. It's simple logic. If corporations want to desert America in order to pay less in taxes, that's their business. But they should no longer have the benefits that come with being American.